Hey, Cornerstone family. Welcome to the corner. We are so glad to be able to share these precious moments connecting and encouraging one another and bringing hope and um, a way where we can just spend some time together even though we are apart. We're so grateful for the technology that allows us to be able to do this and the people who are helping um, to make this all possible. Um, and I hope that you guys have been able to stay connected online as well. I am um, honored to be able to share some worship time with you today. And as I was thinking about what, what songs we should do together, I kept coming back to these songs that um, they play a role in my life similar to what I imagine hymns play for perhaps the older generation. Those of you who know me know that I'm not huge into hymns, although I love and appreciate the richness and the history and tradition of them. Um, they're not necessarily my go-to. But these songs um, represent a time in my life where worship and learning how to worship and worship, what worship means um, were really foundational at that time. And it came sort of right at that turn when worship music was just coming about. I won't tell you what year that was or how old I was, but um, you might recall when worship was just starting to um, be birthed, a lot of the music came from the Vineyard Church out west. And these songs, coincidentally, I promise you, it was a pure coincidence that these two songs actually come not only from the Vineyard Church, but from the exact same album um, that had a huge influence on my life at that time. But they are songs that, that really just give voice to the cry of my heart. And I hope that they are meaningful for you too. If you want to worship together by singing, please sing with me. If you want to just um, sit prayerfully and receive this song of, songs of worship, then do so. If you want to play with me, go grab your instrument right now. These songs are in the key of G. Um, whatever you want to play, please play along with me. And um, it, they're super simple. But I hope that we can connect even in this way as we worship as we sing these words of truth together, may they minister to you and to me and bring us hope and peace as we choose to lift our voices and give praise and honor to our God, our loving and good Father. So this first song is right out of scripture from Psalm 121. It's called, I Lift My Eyes Up.
Oh God, we worship you and we thank you for the truth that you are our help. You are our salvation. You are our healer and rescuer, our friend. We love you and we look to you. We need you, oh God, to be the anchor in our lives right now. May we fix our eyes on Jesus and trust him for all things. Though we may not know what the future holds, we know indeed who holds the future. And we love you and we thank you for this truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Any guesses on this next song? Same album. Oh God, I'm so grateful for these words. Let's sing them together.
Jesus, may you truly be our anchor and our hope during this difficult time. May we stay rooted in you, in your love for us, and in the knowledge that we are growing and that we are still connected as part of your family. Watch over us all, O oh God. We pray for your protection. We pray for your grace as we continue through these days at home among our families. We thank you for the many blessings that remain true during these times. We love you. We look to you. We thank you for this moment together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for being here today. May you be blessed. Let's stay connected. And we'll see you back at the corner on Friday at 1 o'clock. See you later.